Hey guys, here's another little boat video and today I'm going to show you what my seat posts look like. You can see this one, it's made out of aluminum, it's very corroded. This right. is in fact mostly surface corrosion, sometimes referred to as white rust, but it doesn't look very pretty. So I've got this on my seat post, but what I'm going to show you is how you, by chemistry, make this convert into this. Because this is my other seat post that I just fixed. It's not perfect, but it looks much better. I'll give you another comparison. This is what this used to look like. It's not a brand new, it's exactly the same. It's been sitting on the boat for about 20 years and I restored it by chemistry and it used to look like this. And this is only a, a two hour job, or actually the effective work is like 20 minutes. Hang on guys. So in order to carry out this transformation from this oxidized surface into this refurbished aluminum surface, you always need to use goggles because we're gonna go work with acid and bases and some heavy gloves. And uh, I will tell you when it gets dangerous. I also have a um, lab coat and that's to avoid having any holes in my clothes. Chemical wise we're gonna use this Mr. Muscle granules of caustic soda. It's very inexpensive you can get it in any supermarket and uh, it's uh, about two dollars for a bottle like this. Then we need some battery acid. This is battery acid from uh, normal petrol station it's about 20% sulfuric acid in water. You need two buckets like this and you need some kind of setup to be able to filter while well, this is your caustic soda. I will show you why we need this. Before we start the experiment we need to clean our part and that's to get rid of any possible grease that will block the reactions. So to clean off the grease there's nothing fancy about it. Just regular detergent and some warm water will be perfectly fine. And I just rub it off. You want to have, get rid of all the grease because unless you get rid of all the grease or organic com components, then the acid won't be able, or the base won't be able to access into the aluminum metal. And it will be a very uneven etching of your material. Because what we're gonna do is that we're gonna etch off uh, tiny tiny bit of aluminum oxide that is sitting on the surface that makes this bad appearance but it's so small so we're talking about 200 to 400 microns that's the thickness of approximately two hair strands so you don't need to worry about removing a lot of material because that's not what we're gonna do now this entire piece has been cleaned off and wiped dry with regular paper and uh, what we see here is uh, aluminum hydroxide and aluminum oxide that has formed to different extent over the surface with time. Uh, to some areas where you have had more salt water spray, you have more oxides formed. And up here, for example, you may see a little bit less. But in order to transform this into this, it's not enough to just remove the oxides because you will still have an uneven appearance that will show. So we are going to etch this and completely oxidize the surface. It's actually already oxidized completely now, but we will completely oxidize it evenly. And then we will remove the oxide with acid so that we can get this even appearance. We're going to dissolve this into 1.5 liters of water. Did 
this is 500 grams of sodium hydroxide now if you buy something like this or in your drains or sewage system then you will get what's called a technical grade of sodium hydroxide and you can already here see that it's contaminated with some black stuff so this is not a chemical grade and in a moment we will see the consequences of that now I'm adding 1.5 liters of water this is just regular tap water and this creates a very exothermic reaction meaning that it gives off a lot of heat so at this point it's very important that you keep your goggles on and this is actually the most dangerous part of this entire experiment because if you get sodium hydroxide at this pH in your eyes you will haze your cornea so your eyesight will never become the same so the sodium hydroxide when it's concentrated like this is extremely dangerous to get in your eyes now we're going to dilute this to make it less concentrated but we're going to dissolve most of it to start with the consequence of that we're not having this chemical grade but more of a technical grade sodium hydroxide or is the froth that you see coming off on the surface here this might be some other kind of added component that they've added into your sodium hydroxide that you buy in the supermarket but this is not sodium hydroxide so because sodium hydroxide is a salt and it will completely dissolve into water so what we're doing now is that we're dissolving it to the greatest possible extent and then we're going to filter off all these things that we don't really know what it is and right now I can sense I can feel through the protection gloves that this is up to somewhere close to 80-90 degrees just because of the reaction that happens when you add the water to the sodium hydroxide now you should never look down in a reaction like this that's just a safety measure now as a second step you can already see that I've made a solution of relatively pure or at least filtered sodium hydroxide here and um, the only thing you need to do is to uh, put a coffee filter into your funnel and actually since the sodium hydroxide is uh, very very corrosive and uh, tends to sometimes dissolve paper you put two in there and with two coffee filters in there you can take your solution now and start pouring it in if the solution is too hot then you will break the filter paper immediately so you have to be a little bit careful in the beginning when you do this some of this froth that you see on the top of the surface from your Mr. Muscle sodium hydroxide can actually be removed shimming it off and then you get less of a problem when you filter it now I will just dilute the one and a half liters I get here five times so I get approximately 20% solution of sodium hydroxide uh, some of you guys that see this video may th say that uh, well why don't you just use something like this well you have Mr. Muscle also on uh, spray cans but if you use uh, this you will get a much less even appearance on your clean part so we're now going to take the oxidized seat post and immerse it into the solution and as you notice there's no immediate reaction and that's because uh, the aluminum in itself 
it's uh, it has this cover of oxide on its surface uh, and that protects the aluminum from reacting and that you can see that this actual seat post that's anodized aluminum that's much more inert to uh, towards this reaction but if I stir this around a little bit here you may start seeing that there are bubbles coming and that's hydrogen gas being formed and now we're penetrating through the aluminum oxide and we're reaching the aluminum so on that side there you may see that there's small bubbles formed everywhere And if we look from the top here, then you can see that now there's bubbles basically forming so that the entire solution goes whitish. If I bring it up, you can see that the, the more darker spots, that's where you had more aluminum oxide sitting and the brighter spot is where the aluminum was more accessible not much is happening to the anodized aluminum because that's it takes much more time to penetrate through the oxidation layer that they put on electrochemically on the extruded tube But you can already now see how the entire piece is becoming more shiny. The trick here is that you only want to peel off or etch off so much of the aluminum oxide so that all these spots go away. In fact, what happens when you have this solution etching here is that you form something called sodium aluminate at the surface of the aluminum. So it will never become shiny like the true aluminum metal in itself unless you polish it. But we will cover this entire piece now with formed sodium aluminate while we're dissolving the aluminum oxide so that we have an even appearance over the entire piece. If you've been good at scrubbing off all the dirt in holes like this, then you will see that everything will go shiny white. So how long are you gonna keep this piece in here? Well, it's up to you to, by eye, Establish when you feel satisfied and that all the dots are gone. So at this point I've had it now in here for about 20 minutes of effective time I've taken it up to look at it once in a while but you will see now what's coming out here it's not perfect yet but it's becoming reasonably evenly oxidized on the surface you can recognize that you you are close when you're starting to see few dots left, like over there, for example. Give it another two minutes, two, three minutes, and we'll see where we are.
Right, at this point, this entire piece now has been in here for about 25 minutes or half an hour. And you can tell that the, the film forming on the aluminum is running quite smooth. So there's a couple of places left. Maybe we could have left it for a little bit more, but I'm going to terminate the experiment now. And what we're going to do now when we have this oxidized surface here, um, is that we're going to get some of the chine back by just transfer it in to the battery acid. So I'm moving it over here and I'm immersing it into the battery acid. Here we will also see bubbles forming and that's because aluminum is uh, an interesting metal in itself is amphoteric so that it reacts with both alkaline or high pH solutions or acidic low pH solutions but what the battery acid does is that it dissolves as much as possible now of the oxide that formed on the surface of the aluminum in the alkaline solution when I bring it up from here it will naturally oxidize by itself, the aluminum. So it will be covered by oxide again, thin layer. But it will be slightly more shiny than it was when I took it up from the muscle sodium hydroxide solution. So this is where we are at now. And I believe this is quite similar to the other piece that I made before. Now I'm just going to rinse this off with regular tap water, dry it and then we can take a look at it. Here's what the end result came out like. And uh, it didn't come out exactly as smooth as the first one, but that's because I didn't keep the aluminum in the first solution for as long time. And uh, you may see some spots down here could have been removed by keeping it down in sodium hydroxide solution for a little bit longer. Um, I have some here as well. But over here, in these parts, it's pretty similar to this. Almost this etching became a little bit better. I'm going to take them out in the sunlight so that you can see more properly. But um, overall I think this is something uh, that could be useful for a lot of you guys working with aluminum. And uh, you shouldn't be afraid of keeping it down for a little bit more in the sodium hydroxide solution. Uh, you were actually talking about etching off, as I said before, significantly less than a millimeter. And that won't harm your metal in any way. And this is how it finally came out. We now got both seat posts made. And from a distance, you can't even tell the difference. Thanks for watching.